Trying to spot a narcissist, it's kind of like trying to find Where's Waldo in one of those highlight magazines. As narcissists on the outside look just like any other average person. So unless we all had spidey senses or x-ray vision to scan the crowd so you can make like Mike Tyson swerve and dodge these evil fuckers, there's really no way that you're going to be able to just see them coming. But that is just the beginning of what leads to narcissists having this ability to continue carrying on hiding in plain sight. Because these persons Personas that they use when in the eye of the public or when luring someone in are being presented in a way as to get others see something that is when it isn't, not so much in a way of hiding or trying to cover something up, painting this illusion and shape-shifting into whoever it is that they need to become based off of what they have observed and feel would be the best fit for that particular individual to see them as, depending on whatever it is that they are after. Which doesn't seem at the surface like two drastically different things, but nonetheless, they aren't processed like the same in our brains due to our innate tendencies, biases, as well as the difference in vibe that gets put off in either situation in terms of how their behaviors and mannerisms mesh with the words that they're saying. And why this works so well for narcissists in particular, as opposed to some con artist trying to dupe you into buying something or pull some sheet over your head, is because narcissists not only seeing themselves as this superior, powerful, almighty being, but the only being of importance. And this skewed concept of themselves as well as how they view others gives them the ability to take these tales and bullshit that they pull out from underneath of their bridges to such the extreme without having a care in the world about what you may feel from an internal or personal basis about them if you were to figure them out because they truly believe that they are this delusional person that they elude themselves as and being the only entity of importance what they see or deem to be true right regardless of how much they alter twist turn or distort it in their mind is a-okay and completely justifiable for them to do, repeating these manipulative tactics since as long as they can remember, regardless of who it is that they're shape-shifting into, they use the same lines, they ask the same questions. And another key point to remember is that they already have the upper hand because if a narcissist has targeted you as in a longer term source of supply and not just some side piece for a one night stand, it is because they have targeted you specifically. And before they confront you, they know enough about you that there is something in specific that they have targeted you for. And more often than not, are likely either a family member, friend of a friend, a coworker, making you already more inclined to have a little bit of trust in them or their stories more believable, as there's already some form of connection between you, even if it is just the friend of a friend. And because they already know way more about you than you likely do them, they are then able to paint this picture and false idea of themselves based off your beliefs, likes, hobbies, talents, etc. before they even confront you to lure you in. And why this truly gives them such the advantage is that straight out the gate come off as if they're already in line with your beliefs. But two, because there is already some form of connection, making it easier for you to feel comfortable with them and your behaviors, actions, and mannerisms to be more in line with your true nature and them to be able to obtain more information from you, creating this booby trap by gathering this information and getting the foot in the door into your personal life 
which ties in to the third thing that you want to remember that though, yes, once they have already hooked you, they are notorious for moving things right along fast and furious with their advancements and going zero to 60 in no time at all. However, at the very beginning, it doesn't come off quite this strong. They don't just hit you immediately with their Hiroshima version of the love bomb, but rather just like they're breaking you down in a subtle but very systemic and methodical fashion. And what first comes off feeling comfortable and a sense of familiarity that isn't on the verge of being stalkerish or a complete copycat, but more like someone you have known your whole life. Someone you can sit down and just shoot the shit with, as well as often plant the seed, manipulating you in the sense that they're almost motivating you to want get closer to them or form some kind of relationship. It's like pulling back just ever so slightly or kind of half-ass ghosting you. And had you already not felt so comfortable or familiar with them, likely would never have even fact you. But this comfort level is how they are able to use this to get into your psyche to it trigger or motivate you to want to progress or more desire to get to know them. But these same things that they found alluring or drew them to you, they will inevitably in time grow to become envious, jealous, or hate about you because they have to be the best. They have to be on top. They have to be as they perceive themselves in this delusional image because without it, they are nothing. And go about using your insecurities and all this information you provided with them as weapons against you. Gaslighting, using backhanded compliments, playing them off like some kind of a joke. And if you find yourself feeling at some point like what you are dealing with or these situations are just so completely unlike anything you have ever dealt with before, or get this impression in your gut, even though we quickly second guess ourselves or try to talk ourselves out of it in repeated situations and circumstances, if you're questioning what is going on here or how in the hell could anybody be so evil, cruel, nasty, there's just something about them that is unreasonable and nonsensical or you just can't figure it out, then there is a strong chance that what you are dealing with is a narcissist. Because though everybody on this here green earth will, yes, at some point in their lives, or maybe even frequently, demonstrate some of these characteristics or traits that get discussed when talking about pathological narcissism. However, there is a huge difference between someone, even with a high level of traits, to that of someone with pathological narcissism or a narcissistic psychopath. They do not even touch a sword to one another. And the biggest thing that separates these individuals and gives them their ability to be able to pull the sheet over others' eyes. And this is vital to remember. When you are dealing with someone who has crossed over that line of being a pathological narcissist or narcissistic psychopath, you can take that spectrum and chuck it into the garbage disposal. Fuck the spectrum, because it doesn't matter. Just like you can't be a little bit pregnant, you can't be a little bit pathological with these personality disorders. You either got it or you don't. The biggest thing being not necessarily looking at the behavior itself, as in a lie, but it's due to their having a total disregard for others, as well as the difference in how they view others, view themselves, and their being egocentric in that they don't see themselves or the things that they do being problematic. Then throw in they're having no empathy, no object constancy, guilt, remorse, or obviously mercy for you. And what you have now is a lethal concoction of pure evil. 
but they too are devoted and live to uphold this delusional image of themselves playing Betty Homemaker, frolicking around over on Fantasyland, being the most superior person up there on cloud nine and having this binary and black and white mentality way of thinking, you know, having a middle ground or shades of gray. They become people of the extremes. And that right there is going to be your telltale sign, easiest way to help pick up on these red flags or look at their behaviors as well as the intention behind them. And because with narcissists, everything they do is going to be at one end of the extreme or the other. Their Hiroshima version of love bombing to their games of psychological pop pig using reactive abuse to they get you to the point of explosion. Their bouts of rage, whether using it in forms of drawn out, torturous, silent treatments, or going off the deep end and turning in to the not so incredible hawk right before your very eyes. Everything they do is going to be in the extreme end of whatever behavior that they can do. You are not going to be equal their partner and definitely not superior to them. And if they think for a second that you are going to cross them or threaten their seat at the throne, they are going to not just try to eliminate you as a threat, but being extreme, they are going to go out to destroy you. And they are not going to give it up until they feel they have annihilated you completely. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but they are going to continue to try until they deem the job is done. Because narcissists have no red light, they have no filter. These people are ruthless. They can do a number on you and make you feel like you truly aren't enough, make you feel unworthy, and literally make you feel bat shit crazy. But it crosses the line when you are so concerned on appeasing someone else because they have instilled so much fear and driven you to the point of hopelessness and helplessness that you have no other choice but to stop caring about yourself. Nothing good is ever going to become of that. You are worth and deserve so much more. So if you have even an inkling that what you could be dealing with is a narcissist. The best thing you can do is to pack your shit and get the hell out of Dodge. Because the longer you stay, the worse that it becomes. And getting into hell is a whole lot easier than getting out. And ain't nobody worth losing your life, soul, or sanity to. So focus on you. Fuck the narcissist.